Oh yay! Welcome back! So this video will be sharing about a very basic content structure in Unity. Definitely there is a more way of doing it, but I will just share a very basic one. Okay, so normally if let's say I just want to do a very simple game, I would keep it in one scene because if you do multiple scenes, it will actually need to carry some data over the scene or let's say um, from the starting page might be a background music if I navigate to the next scene I may need to bring the audio to the next scene so that's why for very simple games keep it in one scene is um, quick and fast and easy um, you don't need to carry a lot of data over the scene. Okay, that is actually part of the advantage of it. Okay, so normally I will create a UI panel. Okay, so I'll create a UI panel which is in the canvas. Okay, so with this UI panel, it will cover the whole area of this uh, game scene. Okay, probably I just set a color. I love blue, so I just put it blue. Yeah, all this. Okay, but right now because um there's a opacity on here. Yeah, we can make it maximum. Okay, so probably I'll name this as a panel start. So in this panel start, probably I will have a button, which is a start button. Okay, so this start button, just scale it bigger. Okay, 400, 150. Okay, to make it at the center, click at this anchor, alternate on your keyboard. Yep, it will back to the center of it. So this one, I will call it start. Okay, now the, the font is too small, set it bigger. Okay, this our start button. Okay, so this is my panel start. Probably in your panel start, you can have more things in here. You can have your game icon, you can have a instruction button to click or view. Okay, so let's say I will have another instruction panel. I'll create a few panel for that. Instruction panel. Okay, I will put it different color so we can recognize it easier. Okay. Yep, panel instruction. So probably the panel instruction inside will have a next button. The next button later will link to the games game seat. Okay. Next button. So here next. Okay, just now I put it 400, 150, and then the text, around 45. Okay, probably I just set this next button at the bottom right corner. Okay, so with this, you can actually quick tips of it. Yeah, I set the margin. In web, we call it margin. In here, I think it's also the same as it. Just that. Okay. Yep. So later on, we are doing start button. Okay, when we click the start button, it will open this and then it will go to the next button. Okay. So to do that, I normally will create an empty game object to hold my script. So this one probably will call it page 
page navigation, script holder. Okay, and then I will create a C sharp script. Call it page navigation. Navigation. Okay, so when I have this script, I will put in into this game object. Okay, put it inside and double click to open it. Okay, so when our script is open, what we wanted to do when we start the game? Okay, so when we start the game right now, if we follow the canvas layering, you will just see panel instruction first. So we need to hide the panel instruction first. Huh? when we actually at the start function there. Okay, so in the code here, I will let this code knowing who is the start fun uh, who is the panel instruction. So public game object panel instruction go okay so when we start the game dot set as if false so it will hide the panel instruction okay so when we done this go to your page navigation script holder so when we create a public it will come up here and I'll drag this panel instruction over here okay so when we play it should hide okay it hide the panel instruction already then you will see the start Right now, our start function not working yet because we haven't put the code. Okay, so to make sure a button functioning, then we need a function. Press start button. Okay, so when we press the start button, who should be coming out? Is panel instruction. Set active, true. Panel instruction dot set active, true. Yay, that's it. So when we have it, just now the script. Remember to assign to the start button. Okay, we are code press start button. So when we play, hide, okay, when we click the start, show up, okay, cool. Then right now I want to do the next, okay. So probably the, some of your interaction, you might consider doing in your panel, in your canvas, also can, maybe it's a can panel, game scene panel game okay it can be like this as well so we can set to a different color okay probably it's our panel game probably i just put a text Game title or game seat. Yeah, I just want to indicate that you you know it this this is referring to the game scene only. Okay? Just to indicate that you may have your own interaction over here like Probably you want to do some puzzle games over here. You are doing some exploration games over here. Okay. So that's all your item will be inside this panel game. Okay. So lastly, we might need a panel result. Or panel game over. We call it panel game over, then everyone should be quite clear. 
um, yep, over this color. Yeah, and then we create a restart button inside this panel game over. I will have a restart button. Restart button. Okay, you can change the form, the width and the height and the font size of the text okay okay so right now when we start the game the same things that we will actually face is our we will see this game over game object instead instead of seeing the panel start right so definitely we need to hide all this then only we can see the panel start okay so i will do in here as well i define the panel game and the panel game over instead of uh, putting one by one, you can actually do it in this way as well. Panel game over G O, like that also can. Okay, as long they are actually in the same defin uh variables type, then they can put in together. Set as if. Okay, so the panel game over dot set as if false. Yep. So I will go back to the page navigation script holder, assign the panel game and panel game over. So when we play the games, we are seeing the start. Cool. So when we click, seeing the next. But when we click next, it's supposed to be seen panel game right so how we do that is next button is considered another button ready then i will create a separate function because they serve different purpose okay so press next button Holy press instruction next button so you know that so when we press the instruction next button we should see panel games dot set active right yeah true okay then after that you can actually assign to the panel instruction Go to the next button, I will assign the function. Uh oh, where is my, okay, got it. Press the instruction next button. So when we press on the play, click on the start, and next, yep, it will be going to the game seat. Okay, so right now, our game scene, it could be with different condition, I would say. Um, some of you may wanted to do like, I get all the item, then only I end the game. Some might be within a time limit, it will end the game. So in here, I will actually just make a button to, to navigate to the next scene. It's actually the same concept as just now we have it. Okay, just that. It will based on the condition and you have to code it after that. So here we to proceed to the game over scene, we just create a button for it. Okay, just create a button for it. Okay. 
And then this one we call it to game over okay. button. To game over button. To game over. Okay, make it font size bigger. Okay, so the same concept. We just want to see panel game over after that. Okay, so because it's another button ready, press game, press to game over button. So we we'll see panel game over dot set active. True. Mm. Okay. So I'll go to game over button. Remember to assign the function. Okay. To game over press to game over button. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yes, finally we go to restart function. Okay, then how we actually can do a restart game? Okay, so the restart, right? We won't be actually hiding one by one because all this might be loaded before already. Okay, so the restart, we will actually load the whole scene of it. Okay, we'll do that way of load the whole scene instead of hiding one by one or showing one by one okay so in the code here i will have another function for my restart button right press restart button okay so how to restart okay on top of here you actually have to put in one library okay called unity using unity engine dot scene management yeah this is one of the library that we can actually use to uh, navigate scene or we can actually use to restart, restart the scene as well okay so um, with the scene manager library then you can actually call scene manager if you didn't have just now the library, it will having some error when you call this scene manager. Then scene manager dot load scene. Okay. Then it will actually get uh active scene right now, so it will actually reload the current scene. Okay. Get active scene dot name. Okay. This is a code of how it run it. Close it. Save it. Okay, after you create a script just now, remember, go to your restart button to assign the script. Okay, so you will be calling the press restart button. Okay, so when we press on the play right now to test it. Yeah, the start function, the next, go to the game over. When we press restart, yep. This one will be reset again because it will restart the whole scene. Okay, so that's how we actually restart the game itself. Yes. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, share and subscribe me. Thank you.